Chapter 3, Classes and Objects. This is Ada. Ada is a main player object of this game. Ada has a moderate speed of 60. Ada can run and use her superpower. How can we create this kind of object in Java? Let's create more player objects. When creating the characters, we must make sure that they have similar attributes. One character should be replaceable by another character so that no matter which main character is chosen, it won't break the game. How do we do that? This is achievable by creating objects from a class. In Java, objects are created from a class. A class is like a blueprint or a template. You can create multiple objects from a class with some variations like Albert, Ada, and Chu. The objects will be created from the main player class. Let's put down what main player objects should have. A main player object should have a name, a speed, and should be able to run and use its superpower. These are some of the things that the main player class should have. Let's look at some objects created from this class. Name Albert. Albert has a super fast speed of 95. Albert can run very fast and has a superpower of spitting fireballs. This is Ada. She's got a moderate speed of 60. Ada can run fairly fast and can also use its superpower. This is Chu. Chu is a bit slow at speed of 40. Chu can run and can use its superpower. This is the main player class. Let's take a look at the code. A class has these components. It starts with public class, class name. Class name starts with a capitalized letter and must match the file name. Next, declare instance variables. You can think of them as nouns. Instance variables are created as private variables for security reasons. This means that other classes are not allowed to directly access these variables. Instance variables should be made accessible using special methods created to work with them. Constructor. Constructor constructs or creates the object. Constructor looks similar to methods, but it is different in these ways. Its name must match the class name. It doesn't have any return types, not even a void. Constructors can take parameters. In this case, instance variables, name, and speed are assigned values from the parameters passed on to the constructor. Getter and setter methods. These methods work with private instance variables. Setters set values of the instance variables, such as name and speed. Getters get the value of the instance variable and return it. By using these methods, we can make sure that the instance variables are not directly accessible from other classes to be meddled with. Setters can prevent bad values from being set as instance variables, which may cause errors. And not all instance variables may need a getter. These methods are methods that the objects use, such as run and superpower. 